because it's a smaller setting, you just get to know everybody. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of, it feels kind of like a family or extended family a little bit. Um, so we were just looking for something smaller and where she wouldn't get lost in the crowd and she could get extra help if she needed extra help if she didn't get it the very first time it was taught to her. And I always, what I do, since, and especially since I have such a small class, I can identify and see very quickly where their strengths are and build on them very quickly. So they can have lots of confidence and when they come in, they usually excel. They usually can, even if they come without any letters or, or numbers, we can get there pretty quick in that small group. That's a nice thing about having smaller classroom sizes mm -hmm. is that the teachers are able to focus on individual strengths or areas where kids are struggling. I could always ask when I needed help and I wasn't afraid to ask anything. Well, not usually, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but here it's like, I've always been more shy, I guess. So I didn't really want to ask as many questions because it's a lot bigger class, but at Heartland I knew everyone and that was nice. You could have like more one-on-one -on -one relationships with people. So we get to know each other and it's a community and we're strengthened with that community. It's not only us individually expressing our faith, but we've got this group of people who believe with us. I personally just love that time in the morning worshiping with the kids. Mm -hmm. That's almost a highlight of the day, just starting every day with worship. Yeah. Our values and beliefs that we find are so important to us that we encourage at home are going to be reinforced in this environment. It's had a huge impact on me and it's just really helped me throughout my journey with God and it's just helped me like make better choices here at the high school because I feel like the world is like a dark place so in Heartland there was like that one little light and they taught you how to be that light and how to make better choices instead of what your friends were telling you to do. And not only that but I can teach them that they have a personal relationship with Jesus for themselves. Probably one one of the pretty big ones was when I was in kindergarten and Miss Coffin helped me ask God into my heart and that was just a big moment for me and so that was really special and we've kind of had that relationship all through the rest of my years. One of the things we love about Heartland is um, the teachers pray with the kids mm -hmm. and um, our years at Heartland we've gone through a lot of different things with our family some hard situations and it's been a safe place for Freddie to go and to say, you know, my family's having a hard time with this and the teacher will pray with him, the, the class will pray with him. Okay, so the first time <clears throat> we went to a positive parent teacher conference with her, um, he prayed for her. It was really beautiful. It, it blew my mind, you know. Yeah. I grew up in a Christian home and I've been around prayers my whole life, but to have a teacher pray for your child with you, I, I, I couldn't even believe it. It was so cool. I've had high school teachers say that our students come in and they're ready. Yeah. Whether it's the higher math or just the regular classroom, that they come in ready. I think we were actually ahead a little bit in some of the things that they were teaching at Heartland. Her grades got better. It wasn't every night stressing about trying to get homework done and, and you know, arguing at the table and, and they're exhausted and then they have to all this homework to do at night and we had we don't have to ever do that because here they get everything done because they have time for that kind of thing. I've seen trends, you know, we've been long enough that we see trends and we don't have to go with every trend that comes up. We can think very practically and know what works and do it because we don't have to give a certain test at a certain time. We get to choose. I remember the age that they're at right now. Mm -hmm. I remember that those were like the worst years of my life. <laughs> I hated it. Mm -hmm. And I guess my hope is that, that we're more like family in our classroom. Mm -hmm. Being able to have your child in a setting where they can go through all of those things in a very safe place means a lot to us. Right. Where we know his teachers, we know his friends, we or have open communication with what's going on with our child and the teachers and all of the staff at the school. And mm -hmm. it's just a safe place to grow. And so we feel by the time he gets through those years and he's ready to go to high school, 
and he'll probably be going to the public high school here. That's our plan. Yeah. He's going to be so ready. He's going to be equipped. He's going to be equipped to be able to stand up for what he believes, and he's going to be equipped to be salt and light. And so it's it's been way more than what we were expecting it to be. Um, okay. We knew it was going to be helpful for us as a family, um, but it was way more than it was. We were prepared for it, so it's it's been awesome. Yeah, he loves school so much. I mean, it's kind of a refuge for him. I mean, when things are are tough in life, you know, school is a place that he's he's most of the time, 90% of the time, happy. You know, there's things that happen there too, you know, in normal interactions with kids, and there's, you know, there's often, you know, conflicts or things like that they have to work through. But overall, I mean, that's, for him, that's like his safe place. That's like his happy place. I, I say all the time that I'm a rich lady because of the riches I have in heaven, but because of the richness of sharing the Lord and seeing not only them grow academically, but see them grow spiritually.